Well, I was going to make this video private just for my site and my Facebook channel, but I'll share this also with you fellas. A brother on Facebook was asking me a question it met, um, about what if you're over dinner and a woman looks into your eyes and say, tell me about yourself. He's asking, what should I say? As I explained to him, I said, I'm a player, so I would never just be straight up and tell a woman who asked me that question. I'll paint a picture better than the reality, and I'll do it in a way that I, it looks like I'm trying to minimize and be modest about it also. So I explained to him, you need to prepare, fellas, what's called a prepared elevator speech, okay? If you think about it this way, imagine that you owned a business for yourself, Let's say you, you own a business building websites. And let's say you're on an elevator with a person going from the 12th floor down to the first floor. You have uh, about a minute to tell that person what you do for a living and sell them on the idea of purchasing your services. Okay, So you got to do it in a, in a way that sells them. Now I want you to pause the program and write out a quick elevator speech if you sold uh, websites for a living. What would you say to them? And you only have one minute to deliver it. So pause the program right now. Do the exercise. Don't be one of those guys that just come in for a good feeling and a good time because you're fucking bored. Okay? Do the exercise. You'll grow from it. Okay, welcome back. See? That's what you want to say to a woman. And then you want to flip the script at the end. Let me give you an example of mine. And I like to do mine before they actually ask it. I'll tell them, you know, what I do. But, and you can quote me. Well, I do a lot of things. I own a personal training business. I'm also an actor, a public speaker, an author, a teacher, and a host of other things. Basically, I follow my purpose and my passions in life. If I get passionate about something, uh, you can bet I will delve into it and start a business helping others with it. How about you? What are you passionate about in your life? Okay? Now, it's been a while since I've done that. I had to write that down there. But that's basically what I said to people back then. Because I've done acting. I've Shit, I was making a film in um, um, Oakland. Uh, there's a, there used to be a group called Tony, Tony, Tony. And look them up. I was at their, their um, they own a house in Oakland down there. And uh, it's like a music s studio for the ghetto kids. Anyway, we filmed a movie there. I played a pimp. Also, I've done a TV show series called Spirit Quest for Channel 6 here in town, okay? As you guys do know, I am a public speaker. I joined Toastmasters. I won 13 competitions in a row, undefeated, okay? I hit the ground running. And that's why I, I have this uh, public speaking product that I'm going to put out real soon. It, it's been done for, shit, three or four weeks, and I've just been sitting on it. But it's for the public speaking market. It's showing what, how I did that. And I use a special technique to win my speeches. Uh, I'm also an author, as you guys know. I've written all these books. But before I even wrote the books in this community, I wrote books for the fitness community. Okay? I wrote a book on, for personal trainers, how to market themselves. I wrote a book for aerobic instructors, okay? how to be a better aerobic instructor, and how to create top-notch choreography. All right? So in everything I've done, I've come out as a winner. I just did a show on that self-hating black guy, Rockwell dude. And I hope he learns from this. This is just one example of what a black man can do, Rockwell, if you put your mind to it and not let shit stop you. Anyway, I'm also a teacher. I was a fitness teacher. I was a dance teacher, uh, aerobics instructor, teacher, whatever. I, used to, I also made audio files and, and uh, videos uh, in the fitness industry. Let's see, I'm a teacher in this field, okay? And I figured out that that is my purpose in life. 
I was born to teach. Show me something, and I will show other people how to do it, okay? Teach me how to do something, I will teach others. That's what I was born to do. Some people are born to heal. Some people are born to, to bring music to the earth, to, so people enjoy music. Some people are born to entertain. Some people are born to be actors, speakers, whatever. I was born to teach, okay? That's why I'm teaching right now. That's why I have all the skills that you guys need. I, of course, overcame my insecurity and my racial inferiority complex so I could show other black fellas how to overcome that or anybody in general how to become more confident. I have my confidence speaking program. I taught myself how to dance and my parents said, or my mom always said, uh, Chris can't dance. Okay? And that's all I heard all my life. And I always wanted to be able to dance. I wanted to dance like Sammy Davis Jr. That's when I was a kid, you know, all that tap dancing stuff he did and shit like that. And I always wanted to be a good dancer. So I went to dance school. I learned it. I taught to others. All right. So those are some small examples of things I've done with my life um, that I now teach. I taught myself how to meet women. I taught myself how, how to overcome my fear of women. Okay. Step by step by step, you know, I taught myself all this stuff. There were no teachers out when I was coming up in this game. Uh, Eric Weber's book was in 76 when I got it. So I read it and all he said was go up and talk to girls. I was looking for the magic rap stuff because everybody was using that word rap back then. You gotta have a rap, Chris. You gotta know how to rap to girls. I didn't know that just meant talk to girls. That's really what it was. It took me all those years to figure that shit out. That's why I tell that to you guys. So you save yourself some time. There are no magic scripts, no magic lines, no magic techniques, no magic pills, no magic walks, no magic period, except your own balls. To walk over and have a decent fucking conversation with another fucking human being. That's it. That's the only magic you need. If you call that magic. So, my life has prepared me to do what I'm doing right now. And when I get so creeped out and weirded out by the people in this community, and, and I really do run from it, I'll teach something else. I've already lined it up so I can teach public speaking. I've 13 competitions in a row within division. Obviously, I taught myself how to do public speaking before I actually hit Toastmasters. But I did. And, I, and also, it's, some, it's not something that you can do you, through book learning. You got to do it, do the actual thing. And I did it the right way. I had a little secret technique that I used that really propelled me to the top. And no, you can't have it. So everything I've done has prepared me to do this. Okay? Overcame my self-hatred. Overcame my racial insecurity. Learned how to just walk over. And I was a shy guy. And I also, I stuttered. I stuttered very, very badly as a kid. But look at me, winning speech competitions. You hear that, Rockwell? You self-hating black man? And other self-haters? Now, everything I've done has prepared me for this life. And I wish I could meet the guys personally to teach them. That's my next step. Take it to another level. So I plan to start doing my boot camps. I think someone was asking me a question I forgot to answer about that. I do apologize. Someone was asking me... Uh, I think on time, I want 30 days with you guys. I don't want to do no half-ass boot camp. And I, I can still do it for cheaper than the pickup artists. As long as I can support myself doing it, then it's a good thing. I want to take someone from no pussy to the land of pussy. And give me 30 days and I'll do it. Because so I'll show you how to dance. I'll show you how to, you know, we know, show you how to dress. I'll take you to the clubs and I will get your ass laid. Just like I did... A motherfucker, got, um, uh, this one guy that I know, that I won't mention his name out of respect for him, 
and he's on that side of the fence. Okay? He was able to get women by my teaching. And I was able to help a gay guy get women. Okay? That's, 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 a, I know you guys think that, oh, no, he's one of those quiet, creepy gay guys that creeped people out when he walked into a room. Okay? Because he's so deep in the closet about it. So his energy, and I heard this from tons of my clients, you know, he's, he's, he's creepy. It's because he was hiding himself. He's trying to mask his energy so nobody can read him. And that comes off as creepy. So the fellow that asked, uh, being quietly and intense, does that come off as creepy? Yes, it does, because that was this other fellow. Okay? He was quiet and intense. Now, work on your, your elevator speech for you. That's why I try to tell you guys, you want to find out what it, you're born to do. Okay? When you can tell a woman I was born, like I can tell them I was born to teach, I give them examples of that. What is going to go through their mind when I say stuff like that? Do you not see how they will be in awe of me as women have been in the past? Everything that I've done, I always come out on top because I, I try, I strive. And I failed at things. There are things I have failed at. Like I didn't win the national public speaking competition. I got to the high division level of, Calif of Sacramento and that's where I was defeated. Uh, the first competition, I went seven seconds over. Wow. And that's what stopped me too. Seven seconds because people started laughing and I didn't take into account for the extra laughter time. It is what it is, though. Anyway, I won the Toastmaster of the Year for my club because I bought a lot to the club. You know, I, I bought the idea of doing podcasts. I started doing the, I'm the first one in this industry to do, do a podcast. I'm just showing you things I, I've done for myself that you can do. Okay? I'm just, just a guy out in California that got good with women. But I've written books on how to do it. Okay. I rose up high in that game too. You won't find too many people. There's one fellow on my forum though. He's his power has grown in the game and he's way over there in Eastern Europe. And there's another fellow his power in the game has grown the fellow uh from geeks to pimps. There's a couple of people on my forum their their power in the game has grown really strong, but I've been able to spark many of their get that initial spark going so that's why why i'm here i'm not some pua that's going to try and sell you guys a bunch of bullshit that i know isn't going to work i could make a lot of money doing that you know i could have made a lot of money if i just went with the flow like that where they say in jail don't fight the feeling go with the flow i ain't taking the ass fucking and i'm not delivering one either so I'm not trying to fuck you guys in the ass with some bullshit. That's why I tell you guys the truth. And as I said to one fella earlier this evening, I just got out the game. Just got out the game. Okay? Let's not go any further on that. So... Get your, get your elevator speech ready, fellas, and uh, post it up. It should be just about a paragraph, and you want to flip it at the end. Post it up, and I'll look at it and tell you if it's any good. Actually, don't post it here. Go to my Facebook channel and post it there. I'll only look at ones that are on my Facebook. Do not send me an email with it, okay? Post it on my Facebook channel. You got that? If you don't get that, don't understand that, and I don't read it, you'll figure it out eventually. Peace.